Hey everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me for another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 16. It's the 1st of January, which means the transfer window is open once again, but not for long this time. Looks like we're going to be given some bad news as well to start off the new year. Herrera has suffered a poor grind. He's going to be out for two weeks, so it's not too bad. And in those two weeks, we've got some good fixtures coming up. Fixtures which are winnable without Herrera. We've still got Schweinsteiger and Schneidlin who are... We're in fantastic form at the moment. Valencia, oh, it looks like he's handed in his transfer request. He wants to move as he needs to play football. He's unhappy about the lack of first-team opportunities. I don't really want to be offloading him here in January. If I am to sell him, then it's got to be in the summer, but I'm going to try and include him as much as possible with this second half of the season. I've got a budget still of 45 million. I have been looking at one player, and that's Patrick Amman from Borussia Mönchengladbach. It's quite evident we need a new winger in this team, and I think he's the perfect player to fill that spot. So Mönchengladbach, they're looking for 29 million. I'm going to start our proceedings with a 25 million pound bid, and let's see where that gets us. So with EA tweaking transfers slightly, especially when it comes to loaning players this year, we've got Joe Rothwell returning. He's only been at Barnsley for the first half of the season. It was just a short spell as well as Ben Pearson, who was also at Barnsley. I might look to uh, loan them out again because I don't see them getting a the first-team spot. We've got a bid coming in from Bayern Munich for David De Gea. 37.5 million if I do accept it it's gonna bump my transfer budget all the way up but I'm gonna reject all offers and disallow future offers as well because he is staying at Manchester United all oh, the boards are getting on my back as well about selling Valencia so whilst Borussia Mönchengladbach mull over my offer of 25 million for Patrick and man I'm just gonna get on with our next game against Coventry it's always special, the FA Cup. This is my team that I've decided to go with. In goal, Romero, Valencia, who is looking for a move away from Manchester United because of lack of first-team football. Pereira starts in the number 10 role with Harry Kane up front. Commentary making their attentions known. Phillips has done well to get round Ashley Young there. They really are looking to attack us here. Fortune, oh my. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my God. 1-0 to Commentary. Just under three minutes gone of the game at Old Trafford as well. They absolutely teared us apart at the back there. Could have made a mistake there. Charles Cook, their keeper for commentary. Just spreading that out wide. Oh, Haynes. A heavy touch there. It's a live matter in. Schneiderlin, top corner. It's 1 0. Absolutely smacked that into the back of the net. Unstoppable for Charles Cook. And commentary, they've let themselves down that. It was a heavy touch, which allowed Mata to steal the ball away, pickpocket him, and find Schneidlin. Look at that from this angle. Oh, on the outside of the boot as well. Curling that up into the top corner. Absolutely stunning. This hasn't been the best of games for United, but at least we're still on level terms. I mean, commentary haven't looked that threatening in the second half. We could go for a shot here with... Nick Powell, Charles Cook not going to pick that one up. Ooh, Schneidlin. Let's pull around our man. It's 2-1. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Schneidlin show. He's on for his hat trick. And it's him again, Haynes, that makes the mistake. He could have made a challenge on Schneidlin there. I think he was just put off by the possibility of maybe conceding a penalty. But what a superb finish again from Schneidlin. Just no stopping him in this game. We're through to the next round of this season's FA Cup. A good turnaround as well. I mean, Coventry, they had such a bright start to the game, getting the first goal. And then it went 1-1 with Schneidlin absolutely smacking the ball up into the top left-hand corner in the first half. Well, just before half-time. And then that, that second goal from Schneidlin. You know, he thoroughly deserved a hat-trick, if anything. Deserves the Man of the Match award, without a doubt. I just hope this form continues because... This performance from him was just incredible. Got a few transfer dealings. Oh, you see that? Barishi Munchen Gladbach. But first, I'm going to deal with this with Donald Love. We've got a loan offer from Port Vale. They want him for a year. I'm happy to accept that. The 21 year old right back. Off he goes then. Now, on to. Let's just delete this first. Delete. 
So as you can see, there's no messing around from Munch and Gladbach. They're quite happy to accept a 25 million bid for Patrick Amman. Now I can enter contract negotiations. He's looking for 100,000 a week. I'm going to offer him 85 and his squad role, important first team player. Some more loan offers coming in. Cambridge United looking to have James Weir in their side for the second half of the season. Happy to accept that. Got another transfer offer. It's for Marouan Fellaini for 7 million. Not going to accept that whatsoever. He's an integral part of this team going forwards. I always like to look at the headlines when the transfer window is open. I always find it interesting to see who could possibly be signing for who. And it looks like Monaco still interested in Oscar from Chelsea. But look at this. Adrian has agreed to join Aston Villa on a free transfer. No one said I could get him on a pre-contract. I, I was never going to sign him for United. But I mean, what a signing for Villa. He's such a solid keeper. And I'm sure he'll... Uh, and what a replacement for Brad Guzon. Because remember, in the summer transfer window, Villa sold Guzon to uh, Watford. So what a replacement. Bringing in Adrian for free as well. Sunderland have signed Dominguez for 4.8 million for Borussia Mönchengladbach. They're just losing players in this window, aren't they? I'm surprised they're uh, letting some of their better players go. And Chelsea... Oh... Leon interested in for Tongan. Chelsea are there still interested in Boateng, as I was just about to mention. They were interested in him throughout the whole of the summer transfer window. Why didn't they pull the trigger? Looks like they may do in this window. Nothing beats an evening of football under the lights of Old Trafford. It's Manchester United to take on West Ham in the Premier League. Looking for those three points here today. Chris Smalling, our captain. Oh shoot, I forgot to put Rooney as our captain. Always keep forgetting that, it just sets it a default. But anyway, Ro Rooney is in the team. We'll just pretend that Rooney's got the armband on. Varane starts, Rojo starts, Schneidlin, who scored those two goals, those winners against Coventry to get us through to the next round of the FA Cup. Harry Kane drops to the bench again after another poor performance against Coventry. He did start that game, but it just didn't look threatening. Also, Martial comes in to replace him. For West Ham, Adrian, who's just agreed to uh, sign for Aston Villa on a free, starts in goal for them. Perfect opportunity to hit West Ham on the counter here, up to Depay, who's full of pace, full of flair. we got Martial in support over the top. Let's make it 1-0 here. Oh my word, how on earth did that not creep into the bottom corner? How on earth is it not 1-0? Should be going in that. Chance to make it 1-0 this corner and that oh we still got it Varane on the volley oh Adrian that is what Adrian is all about pulling off sensational saves like that on the volley it was going in as well well on target we've had everything down to a tee in this game we're just missing the goal we could maybe find it here with Rooney oh Schneidlin oh my words how did he miss that it's just been one of those games where nothing has happened for us in front of goal. Got a chance here, maybe. Rooney. Yes. Schneidlin scores for United again. That's his third goal in two games. Right place, right time. Let's pressurise them. Oh, well done, Rooney. Well won. Look at Memphis. Over the top. We found Memphis. He's brought it down, kept it under control perfectly. Who's there? Who's... It's Martial! He was hanging around on that far post. Just inside the six-yard area. And he's absolutely pelted that one up into the roof of the net. It's 2-0. There were a few appeals as well for offside. But the ball's just gone straight through to Martial. And he's absolutely buried that. Look at that on the volley. Absolutely superb. And that's why I pick him over Kane. One thing I've noticed I haven't been able to do yet this season, whenever we've been 2-0 up, we haven't been able to keep a clean sheet. De Gea with a good save. I think the ball hit the post as well. Good save De Gea in the end. Certainly got a bit complacent into the later stages of this game. Oh, this is what I mean. O'Bonner. Oh, let's put that one into the crowd. His manager won't be happy with that chance. Everything about this game was perfect. From Schneidlin's goal to Martial's positioning. Manchester United win 2-0 here against West Ham. We have got them again very soon in the Capital One Cup semi-finals. Which will be decided over two legs home and away. Hopefully we can put in the same sort of performance here in those to get through to the final.